Hey guys, in this video, what I want to do is show you how to put a GIF into your emails. So there's a lot of reasons that we want to put a GIF. Ideally, we'd want to put videos to demonstrate our product, show different angles, different variants, how-tos, whatever it might be that we're trying to show, but we can't put videos in our emails, nor would we want to because the file sizes would just be way too big and we'd end up just in the spam folder everywhere if we got delivered at all. So the next best option is to do GIFs. Now GIFs can do all the same things that we want to show in a video, we just need to actually create them from our still images obviously. So to do it, I use a free website called gifmake.com and all you simply need to do is upload your images that you want to put in. So in this case, I just want to show a few different angles of a design of leggings that I have for Gearbunch. Uh, just determine, you can see here, it's got a default square size image. If your images are squared, leave it at that. I know the dimensions that work well for uh, my products because I've got a longer image. Um, I like the animation speed to be at 1500 to give the user enough time to actually um, see the product at every angle. And when it, whenever you change an option in here, just hit on the refresh here, and refresh it. We can see it's only 85 kilobytes. Now we definitely don't want it to be above 500. We can make this a little bit larger or I can add more images into it if I decide to. So if I wanted to add a couple more in, you just drag them down to here just down into this section. Should be able to bring it across there. And one more. Should read, just shuffle around what, what uh, order we want them in. We just need to do, need to resize that again. And then I'll just hit refresh here. And there we go. It's telling me it's 145 kilobytes, which is, which is fine. So all we need to do then is click on download. You're gonna grab the image out of there and I'll take you across to Clavio and I'll show you how to input it into your emails. So we've just come across to Clavio. I've just grabbed out any template here just to show you. Uh, so I've just gone into my um, email templates. All you need to do is to put an image in or a GIF, just drag it across. I'll just put it in here. It, it, obviously it's not going to sit the way that you, you ideally the way you'd like it click on add an image upload import and then just make sure best practice is I'm dragging that across but what I have done is I've renamed it to realistic skeleton with black zipper leggings this is for SEO purposes you don't want it to just come across as this title here image underscore string of numbers like it's not telling anybody anything so if someone hovers over that or you know it's syndicated around the net, then it's going to have the actual name attached to it. So I just go, I want to center that image. And you can see there, it's a nice small image. I think it was 100, and, 100 odd kilobytes, nice and small, but displays the entire product, continues to do that. I always like to look at what it looks like on a mobile. Now, as I said, I wouldn't put this image in with this one here and then others here. I've just grabbed this as an example to show you how to put it in there. But you can see nice and small images, works well on a mobile. Uh, you can make it clickable uh, by putting the link in there if you want. Um, you can put alt text in there as well, which is also best practice. So I'd be putting the product name in there as well. And that's it. Nice and simple, really free, easy way to get GIFs into your uh, emails. So I'll, yeah, until the next video, I will talk to you then.